You girls ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's talk about legacy. Chano, what is legacy? Legacy is leaving something of meaning, of significance. Well, to you, Kachiona. Legacy for me is an impact. It's a small impact or a big one that we leave to other people. Chano, if I were to ask you, what was your biggest fear? Um, that was when Channel 2, Channel 2 was the leading network for 17 years and then one day we, we lost the leadership status. That was in 2004. And you know when you're a creative person, you are an extension of what you create. And the rejection becomes very, very, very personal. It's like, it's, it's a rejection of your person. The rejection of your work is a rejection of your person. And um, I, I really just lost it. I, um, I broke down. I was asking myself whether I am a or in bed. But then, um, with my family, who was around me, was very, very supportive of me, I got up again and I told myself, this is where I find my happiness. This is where I am my authentic self. And I cannot imagine myself in any other profession in any other industry but this industry. And so I got up and I faced my fears and I said, I'm going to do it. Um, uh, tell me about, about dreaming, about failure, about fears, your head. And I very much mirror those values too. I really honestly believe each and every one of us has a dream or a passion for a reason. So you need to have faith that that's, there's a plan for you, but that path leading to where you're meant to go sometimes doesn't look how you think it looks. Because of course we have our own perceptions that yes, it's going to work out this way. This is how I meant to go. I meant to take it this way. And sometimes we're redirected, maybe in terms of a failure or a challenge that seems too hard to overcome or something doesn't work out. Something's pulled out from under you and you're left thinking, but wait, isn't this what I meant to do? This is my passion. Why didn't it work out this way? I really do believe this, that you are never denied, but only redirected to the path you're meant to go. And Honestly, and I, I speak from the 26 years of my life. <laughs> and when you do find your purpose, I hope that you will forge towards it with all your might and all your heart, no matter the setbacks, no matter the drawbacks, no matter the failures, that purpose is worth going for. Even if you fail a hundred times, the purpose will always be worth it. So woman, and we're talking to many women today. God, what do you think is the biggest challenge that women face today? I feel like so many other people, other forces are always defining what success should look like for us. Somebody else tells you. Yes, society tells us. It's either in the way of how we should look, how we should study, what we should define success in career and personal life, how we're supposed to look like we're balancing everything. I feel like we become truly empowered and women step into their power when they define for themselves what success is. Okay. So, Not believing in oneself. I remember the story uh, in the PM. Yeah. Uh, you know, I know you're home. <laughs> From beginning to end. But that's really an inspiring story. Iniwan ng kayo ng tatay mo. And what happened was... Iniwan ng kami ng tatay ko kasi kukunin pa niya yung mga gamit namin dun sa baggage compartment. Tapos, nung araw kasi naglulundagan yung mga kagador, di ba? Yung, o, oh, mali ata, yung mga gamit nyo kami kukuha. So, ang daming mga barako, di ba? <laughs> Ganun. So, yung mga... Sabi kami, Daddy, Daddy, sinisiksi kami dito. Eh, tatay ko nasa may baggage compartment area na. Sabi niya, Suntukin niyo! <laughs> so, yan. So, those words, I remember, you know. In, in other words, you know, it, it was what he meant when he told us, you have to learn to fend for yourself. Anong babae? Hindi, di ba? You have to learn to fend for yourself. Kung nasa tama ka, sabihin mo. Kung ang opinion mo, palagay mo, nasa tama ka, kahit na sinong kaharap mo, basta magaspeto ang pagsabi mo, sabihin mo. Uh, yeah. There should be no hindrances. We create our own walls. If I may also share that I am quite fortunate because I married somebody who respected yes. my person. You know, yung idea ko ng pagiging may bahay, bigising sa umaga, magtitimpla ng kape sa asawa, at maghahain ng almusal, no? So, um, the day after our wedding, that's what I did. I, I woke up early in the morning, sinabayan ko siya, and then he asked me, why are you up so early? Sabi ko, ha? I'm your wife now. I'm supposed to prepare your coffee and your breakfast. No, 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 somebody else can do it for us. Because, eh, ano na, you go back to sleep. And then, sabi ko, hindi ko maintindihan. And, and, and I, I felt so 
parang rejected, no? Yung pag pagkatao ko. And then in the evening, while we were having dinner, sabi nga, Charo, remember this. Before you are a wife and a mother, you are a person. Oh. A person in your dream. Can we say that again, Charo? Before you, Before are, you are a wife, wife and, and a, mother, a mother, you are a person. So yung mga kababaihan po, hanapin ninyo. <laughs> That's right. At ang next Lord Eagle question, ikaw ba ka Chiyong na nakahanap ka na ng pagsasabi sa iyo? Ka Chiyong na before you are a mother and a, a, a girlfriend, you are a person and a woman. The process naman dito po. <laughs> It's a process. Ka Chiyong na Gray, do you have insecurities? Yes! Yes, I do. Wow. I feel like there's this misperception that once you reach a certain height of popularity, when you get a million Instagram friends, when you seem to be this loved and liked and adored, that all your insecurities magically dissolve and fade away. But I'm telling you now, they don't. Do you wake up saying, I'm not looking good? Sometimes. Or even I do a job and I'm like, Boy, I'm not going to do it. I just want to take a better view. Really? You actually wake up and say, I'm not looking good. Promise, there are days when I just feel down. I just am in a mood. Or there are days when I'm just, I can't be easily pleased by my performance at a certain job. Or when that happens, what do you do? It's self-talk. Or if self-talk is not enough reinforcement, it's talk to the people that I trust that are around me. To say, I, sometimes I need encouragement because at a lot of times, especially when you're at this um, position of popularity, sometimes a lot of people are always saying, Kat, you're so beautiful, or I really look up to you, but you're hardly engaged in conversation that goes deeper to say, how are you? Are you okay? Are you happy? Do you know what I mean? And I just want to put it out there too. Like all of us have insecurities, and it's okay because it makes us human. It honestly does. And I feel like we should never feel like we're perfect because I feel like you need to come back and be grounded if ever you do reach that height. I'm perfect. There's nothing I need to learn. There's nothing that I need to improve on. That's fine. Okay. So my feeling, because I'd like you to share with us the story of a paper clip and how the Ala Ala Bukaya was born. Uh, that story with you and then president of ABS-CBN, Freddy Garcia. Uh, very quickly, just that story. In one programming meeting, he asked me if he would cancel one of the existing programs, what would I replace it with? So I said, um, sir, give me a couple of weeks, you know, I'll think about it and I'll make a pitch after two weeks. He said, what two weeks? Sa television, hindi nakakahinta eh. Diba? Pag may tinanong ako sa iyo, dapat may sagot ka. And I saw a paper clip on top of the table. So I said, ah! Ito, paper clip. Simple ang bagay, pero maaaring sa ibang tao, may halaga ito. At maaaring dito sa paper clip na ito, may kwentong nakapalago. So bakit hindi tayo gumawa ng show that will dramatize true to life stories of our letter senders? Kasi ito ang book, sulat pa. Our letter senders. Sabi na, hmm, pwede yan. You know, it's patterned after itong inyong Tia Deli. And then, loving me yours, Helen, di ba? These were my idols also. And and so he said, Kaya, pwede yan. We'll give it, anong title mo? Sabi ko, ah, Among My Souvenirs. Sabi na, ha, bakit naman Ingles? Kailangan, kailangan kundi man. And then he was the one who said, Bakit hindi maalaala mo kaya? And that was how the show was born, and it's still around. Last question on Beauty Queen. I am Katriona Gray. Complete the statement. And... I never thought you were going to ask me this question again. <laughs> I am Kationa Gray, and... I am in pursuit of a dream. Wow. Let's go to Chavo for a last question. I am Chavo, and I'm happy. <laughs>